I first visited New York in 1999 when I was staying with my friend Alex who was working and living in Manhattan at the time. I stayed for a month and went up the World Trade Center as a tourist whilst I was there. The following year I returned, this time with my friends Will and Gary who joined Alex and myself for a week of sightseeing. Alex had a video camera and what follows is some of the footage that we took. We made our way to the World Trade Center on foot and then spent 10 minutes filming and taking photographs near the entrance in the plaza area. I remember it was difficult to film the whole building as it was just so big. You really do get an idea of its size here. Once we got up to the observation level, you got some amazing views of the rest of New York. You could walk all the way around the top of the building and use the telescopes. There was a helicopter simulator ride on this level, which we all went on. I vividly remember the toilet attendant and often wonder if he was in the building when the plane struck. As you can see, it was pretty busy when we visited. It was about 10 a.m. I think. We wanted to see the World Trade Center in the morning before going on to Liberty Island and then Ellis Island. remember Alex pointing out the planes queuing to land at JFK Airport and as commentating that they looked so close. It really was an impressive sight being that far up, overlooking New York. We headed off on the Battery Park Ferry over to Liberty Island You couldn't help but look back at the classic lower Manhattan skyline and those iconic towers. Once there, more impressive views of Manhattan. Watching the towers getting hit, even now, 20 years later, is still incredibly shocking. certainly a trip I will never ever forget. <laughs>